please keep your ears available for the rapping styles of we I. We got it down. Woo. I'm so high. We black and dark and still beautiful. Bleach my skin. My family need to come up. Because we famous, so we Donald younger. Trump refers to as shithole country. Colors and books of obituary. You should be worried. Another life claimed by the police? No. My cousin's gay and my uncle's a pedophile, but guess which one brings the family more shit? It gotta stop, cause I damn near scream in public. You ever sink your head under that bathtub water, hold your breath in. And you can keep your pennies, cause my thoughts are priceless. When I say CC, you say P. CC. CC. When I say drop the, you say Mike. Drop the. Mike. Drop the. Mike. When I say I love, you say poetry. I love. Poetry. I love. Poetry. Give Dear Katsy Villefon, Drop the Mic was a special opportunity. I am glad I was able to stay for the second auditions. However, I appreciated you the most because of your performance during Drop the Mic, your courage, and your pride as an Asian American. First, I appreciated your guest performance the most because of your determination to perform during the fifth season of Drop the Mic second audition. You decided to make a guest appearance, although you hadn't performed in a while. Um. I am a child of refugees. I am a refugee. I was born in a refugee camp. And so a lot of the work that I do um, in my poetry is based on um, talking about those stories. Your poem, You Bring Out the Louse in the House, which was about the troubles that you and your culture faced with discrimination. You bring out the louse in the house. Not the Southeast Asian, not the French Indochina, not the Laos or the Laos, but the louse in the house. You bring out my best features, keep my hair dark and my skin tan. You bring out my taste for lemongrass and ginger, my affinity for elephants like the one tattooed on the back of my neck. What I took from the poem was that it was about racism and people being too prejudiced. You bring out the interpreter in me, well, when or if there's someone to interpret for. In finding a reason just to say anything, I sometimes eavesdrop on the next best thing. Thai people. Just to claim I can understand what you're saying, I just can't talk back. What really caught my attention that day was your duet with Dr. Myers. When you performed Listen, Asshole, I was shocked because I thought we were only going to be able to hear half of the poem because of censorship. Your performance, your message was strong and empowering. Listen, asshole, my Watch words my were meant to mention a meticulous and Muslim manner, yet you're mispronouncing men healing, not fucked it all up, my meanings, misuse, miscommunication, misconstrued, misinterpreted, misnamed, motherfucker, that makes me mad. Listen, asshole, stop trying to guess what I am, stop trying to tell me what I'm not. Another thing I appreciated about your courage was your ability to display the problems of prejudice through your poems. A line I would quote from, you bring out the louse in the house, is, up until now, you've never known about louse, which in turn brings exactly. out the ignorance, ignorance in you. As, as well as a series of guesses that strangely always follows this order. Wait, let me guess what you are, because I'm really good at guessing people by their ethnicity just by looking at them. You're Filipino? Filipino. No, okay, hold on. Hawaii. Hawaii? You're Hawaii. Okay, okay, last, last chance. You're Thai. Thai. No? What then the, what the fuck, fuck are, are you, you then? then? I admired this quote because of your courage to confront racism without hiding any lingering thoughts. This made me appreciate your powerful words even more, and in conclusion, I appreciate the courage you put into your poem. In the poem, you said, I will not take Kathy, Cassie, or Cassidy as a substitute. It's Catsy. My name, don't mispronounce it. It's not Kathy, Cassie, or Cassidy. It's Catsy, and so what? If it was a mispronounced pro byproduct of my mother's native, native tongue, dancing with an American dream, she gave up half her life, traveled halfway around the world for this. So yeah, I do mind standing here for half a minute just because you can't get it. I admire your love for your mother and the fact that you are willing to stand up for the name that she gave you. Another line I would like to quote is, by forgetting or just not thinking about me, you force me to remind you. You force me to remind you, but by referencing or just questioning me, you force me to remember myself. I like this quote because you appreciate your culture and your heritage. However, racism can also help you remember who you are and where you came from. In conclusion, I appreciated your pride to stand up for who you are 
and to help me realize that racism can also help people remember their roots. This poem is just as much about you as it is about me. Thank you. Sincerely, Kevin Sang.